Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. There's one very important question that you guys keep asking me about the next generation, sixth generation Toyota 4Runner, and that is, will it be built in Japan or will the production move to Mexico where the Tacoma is built? This is perhaps the most important question you guys are asking me because you like having the 4Runner continue to be built at Tahara factory where my GX was built and it is perhaps the best factory in the world. In fact, in my next trip to Japan sometime in the late spring, I plan to visit the Tahara factory, so I'm really looking forward to that. So let's come back to this important question. Would the Forerunner be built in Japan, the new one that is, or will it move to Mexico? Well, I have been saying for the last uh, year or so, that I believe that the Forerunner will be built in Japan and not move to North America. And I'm still going to stick with that story for two very simple reasons. One is capacity. And that is the Tacoma is right now at the full capacity being produced at the two factories in Mexico. There are two of them. And some of you guys might remember that the Tacoma used to be built in Texas along with the Tundra, but that moved out to Mexico when the Sequoia moved from Princeton, Indiana to the factory in Texas. So even though there are two factories in Mexico building the new Tacoma, it is at full capacity. And I've done some extensive investigation to find out whether those two factories were either hiring more people or expanding their plant, or maybe even adding a third shift. And as far as I can tell from the basic research I've done, none of those things are happening, which means that the Tacoma is built at a full capacity, both factories are full, and there's no way you can move the Forerunner to either one of those factories because we're producing upwards of between 125,000 to 150,000 units of Forerunner just for North American market, plus some other markets as well. So give or take, let's say, 200,000 units of Forerunner and I'm almost 100% sure that neither one of those two Mexican factories have the capacity to take on additional 200,000 cars. So that's reason number one. And the second reason is all to do with engineering. And from my perspective, that's also a very simple answer. And that is, is a new generation foreigner more like other Tahara built vehicles there, including the new Land Cruiser 250 series, as well as the Lexus GX, or is it engineered more like a Tacoma? Well, it is kind of both because they're all based on TNGAF platform. But if you were to look at it from a scientific perspective, from an engineering perspective, there's no question that the new Forerunner, however it might look like, will be closer in terms of configuration and in terms of frame and design to other Tahara built vehicles such as the Land Cruiser 250 series and its close cousin, Lexus GX. Compared to a pickup truck like a Tacoma, even though underneath it might use the same TNGAF platform, you have to keep in mind that the Tacoma has many different configurations, has longer pickup bed, shorter pickup bed, and it's also a truck versus SUV. So it is clear to me that the 4Runner will have closer DNA to the other Tahara built uh, SUVs compared to Tacoma. And therefore, it's going to be easier to manufacture 4Runner along with Lexus GX and Land Cruiser 250 than it is to produce the new 4Runner with a Tacoma because one is an SUV and one is a pickup truck. And even though that itself is not always a guarantee of one or the other, from my perspective, I think there's a much closer relationship between the Forerunner and other SUVs in Japan than it is to Tacoma. So that's my second reasoning. And just from looking at the whole perspective of how Forerunner is, has been handled over many years, I just cannot see it moving all the way from Japan, all the way to Mexico, because if that was happening, you would hear some telltale stories from either suppliers or from engineering companies or other third-party companies that are all helping in terms of logistics to move that vehicle from out of Japan into Mexico. And I haven't seen or heard any evidence of that happening. So even though we're going to probably hear very soon, officially from Toyota, what's gonna really happen to the Forerunner in terms of design, in terms of the engineering, and also where it's going to be manufactured, until that is announced, for now, I'm going to stick with this very simple belief that the Forerunner will continue to be built at the Tara factory in Japan. And of course, I could be wrong. It could be 50-50 chance of either happening. Uh, but from my perspective, I'm sticking with that story. Let me know if you think my reasoning makes sense. Let me know if you hear anything else different. But until the Forerunner is officially revealed, I'm gonna stay with that story. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe? Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much. Thank you.